Greetings and salutations, YouTube, it's Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Today is going to be another edition of Goodwill Hunting, where we go to various Goodwills and see what treasures we can find today. We are in the city of Santa Ana in Southern California. This is one of their largest stores here um, in the area. This one is actually a Goodwill that's attached to a Goodwill marketplace, which is a Goodwill outlet where you can buy clothes and, clothes and like items by the pound. And then next to that is also a tech center where you can buy, or where they only sell like computers, TVs, like tech, tech logical tech stuff I can't even explain but um it's a really cool place if you guys are ever in the area check it out it's here in Santa Ana um but if you guys love thrifting you love thrift hauls you love vlogs do not forget to subscribe hit that little bell button for notifications add me on Instagram it's Hadrian just like it's spelled here and check out my shop at it's Hadrian.com to see what I have for sale for all my thrifting adventures but without further ado let's head into the store right now and check it out look at this piece is $80 that's really nice apparently it's like a brand called Crossley furniture. Let's take a look at the handbag that they have hanging here. These are the ones that are like more expensive, more like the designer stuff. This is twenty-five dollars, but this is actually a Coach outlet bag, and it is a little tore up. Don't know what this one is. Thank you for shopping in our store. Steve Madden. What do we have here? London Fog. There's this coach for 25. Here's another coach. They're all about $25. Let's see if they missed any like other handbags and put them over here. This store is actually really good at like finding all of the like more name brand bags and setting them aside and pricing them a little bit higher. But there's always a chance that they miss something so always check style and co very like brahmin-esque box looked fossil-esque computer work employee discount computer work employee discount thank you kathy von zeeland the sack Now this is actually, I think it's probably leather. Yeah, that one's a street level bag. Is the brand 18 Agner. What is this guy? Nothing. Donna Buckman. We got more handbags over here. More 18 Agner. Soul Society. BKNY. Ooh, we got a jumper. <laughs> Sometimes these bags just like want to go home with you. They just like jump off. It's like that movie, like The Little Toaster. Like when there's no people around, like the bags come to life. Or like in Toy Story. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Simon Nelly. This looks like a Balenciaga almost. Diva collection. Oh my gosh, this literally looks like a Balenciaga because I actually have the bag, like the, the actual Balenciaga that's this style. That is so funny. It has a mirror and everything. It is definitely peeling and it's pleather. But that is crazy. <laughs> Balenciaga at the thrift. But like, not really. Whoa, check out this giant, like, vase. Oh, it's like, yeah, it's not very heavy. Oh, stop it, these pumpkins are pretty cute. 
wonder where they're from. Hallmark, they were originally $24, $5.99 each. Ooh, look at the little green one. This one used to be $10, now it's five. And we have one more little gourd right here. Oh, what a great like little sign if you had like a beach house. Bart and Lisa. I think I just spotted an anthropology base. I'm pretty sure this is anthropology. I'm gonna look it up. Here it is, you guys. Anthropology base. Get it, girl. And it's only $3. Hot dog. Today is starting off to be a good day. I actually have this um, stool chair thing. I actually gave it to the kids. I got mine for $15. This one is $35. Oh no, I thought like, yeah. Oh, mirrors, okay, okay. That's kind of cool, I like the shape. But I also like these like, they kind of look like eggs. This mirror is not the worst, but I don't know, I'm being pretty picky about the mirrors. I really want like a large one. Look at this guy. Furniture. Wait a minute, mirror of Arisad. It's $12.99. Oh, it's broken. That makes me so sad. I was totally gonna get it too. This would have been so cool. This looks like from medieval times or something. Oh, it is from medieval times. I'm always looking at vases. Because, you know, you can never have too many. Plus, they make amazing gifts. Is this a horse? Ooh, this is kind of cool. I actually kind of like it, but it looks slightly haunted. But I, it's still kind of cool. Now we need a shopping cart. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so drawn to these little animal things. This is from Tommy Bahama. It used to be $34. Now it's $7. It's actually kind of cute. Like imagine this sitting on top of a stack of books. All right, I am looking through the faces that are here. Oh, that duck um, thing is like everywhere. I see it all the time. The duck, I think it's a picture, right? That's from Big Lots. This is from Target. $35. This is Starbucks. I think I have this. This is $4. That's not bad, but a little expensive still. We're just gonna keep it there and think about it. And let's see if we can find any anthropology mugs today since we did find this anthropology vase. We might be able to spot... Oh, there we go. First anthropology mug of the day, an M. I don't actually have this one. I have M's in the other style, but not that one. So this is exciting, okay. Anthropology mug. How much is this guy? Let's make sure there's no chips. Looks good. Ooh, I'm so excited. Two anthropology pieces. The first two things I found are anthropology. Alright, see what else we got here. I don't think I spot any other anthropology mugs right now, so. Glasswares. I don't know how I missed this, but I actually own this already. And this is like the Cordon Bleu Camel um, teapot. It's so cute. I, I have it already though, so I, I'm just going to leave it for someone else to enjoy. But he's so cool. I also have the elephant. And, you know, I think I'm starting to collect those things, those teapots that look like animals, because I think they're so fun. I'm just going to stick my little guys right here, because I 
foolish, they don't have a cart. But I'm just gonna go through the dinnerware and see what I can find. You owe home. This is from Urban Outfitters, originally $30, and now it's $8. I don't know if I like the color of it. Yeah, I feel like I'm not like a fan of the color, so we'll just leave that. This here one imports bowl is super cool. It has like a built-in salsa thing. This is a Limoges platter. Fancy. The design isn't my fave though. And this plate's kind of cute. So I just found these Ray Dunn pieces. There's this one that says Cheers. This one says Forever. These are three dollars each. Also, I actually own these and I spotted them. These are Givenchy plates. Done. There's two of them. I think I have a set of four. So now I have a set of six, which is perfect. Oh, but this one's broken. And it's the best one. It's the yellow one. That is so sad. Okay, well, now I have a set of five. <laughs> The blue one is also mighty pretty as well. Let's see if we can spot the rest of these Givenchy plates if there are any other ones here. You guys, how pretty are these plates? So cute. I found this cool tray that looks like a basket weave. Oh, this looks like it might be Pampered Chef. Chantilly. Yeah, this is Pampered Chef. Okay, we need to move some stuff so we don't have an accident. Everything's stuck. Oh, there we go. Four ninety nine. Yes. I found something to carry all my stuff. In. <laughs> okay, exciting. We are finding such awesome stuff at the moment. Crate and barrel made in Italy. I'm not gonna like kind of dig this pattern, but I wish it was blue. So I think I'm just gonna leave that, though that is cool for a set of four, $8.99. Not bad. I wish it was a set of six though. This is really nice. I love things that look like this. This one's only $3.99. Oh, it has a giant chip on the side. Okay, we'll have to let that one go. It's down here. That looks cool. What does that say? That is the cutest Fitz and Floyd plate. You guys, look at that piece. It looks like, I think it's like the gallery because I think I've seen this before. Stop it, it is the gallery. It's $60 from the gallery. Here it's 20. A little expensive, but like kind of nice, right? Do I like it? All right, you guys, we have made it to the tchotchkes. How cute is that? I think it's from Target. It has like little bunny ears. Oh my gosh, this porcupine though. That's the cutest. Hedgehog, not porcupine. I don't know why I say these things. How funny is it that they have these measuring cups? They're almost exactly the same ones that I got. Hey guys, okay, so I'm back home and it's a few days later and I'm super excited to share with you guys what I ended up getting at the Goodwill this day or that day. And also, don't mind my dirty fingers, it's like hair dye. And of course, today's the day that I dyed my mom's hair and I didn't use gloves. So, <laughs> I was trying really hard not to get the dye on my hands, but of course they got all over them. Anyway, uh, let me show you guys what I got. The first thing I have here is an M mug. Perfect M for mom. <laughs> and this was $1.99. And I was so excited. I love finding these anthropology mugs so much. Um, I have like a pretty good set of them. I'm determined to find every letter of the alphabet. And it is... Crazy because the primarily all the letters that I find are there's lots of J's, S's, M's, and then B. Um, yeah, like that's primarily all the letters that I have, which is funny, but 
It's like, ah, I need to find other letters, come on! Okay, the next item that I have here is crazily also anthropology, and it is gorgeous, and it is this beautiful red vase with a white flower. It's so pretty. This is actually um, the second time that I found this. I have another one sitting right over there on my uh, bookshelf, and this one is so beautiful. It was $2.99. So pretty. I love these vases so much from Anthropology, and I am so excited to find another one, and yeah. I have, um, I think there's three in this collection, and I, there's a, it's, I think it's a blue vase with a red flower, and I, I have found it three, a total of three times. The first time I, bought, I found it, I didn't know that it was Anthropology. It was like around the first, like right around the time I first started kind of, um, filming and putting videos up on YouTube and you guys were like, that's anthropology. And I was like, oh, no way, I didn't know. Um, and then I found it two other times and every time I found them, they were broken. So I didn't get them. But so excited to find this one two times. This is the second one I have. So very, very excited about that. Now this other one is also a... Okay, literally everything that I'm showing you guys in this video, I have already multiple, like, pieces of, which is crazy. Because this next piece is pretty, like... Sorry, I have, like, a stack of stuff back here that I was... Oh, my goodness. I want this thing to break. That I've been filming, <laughs> and... Yeah, so... This is, like, Christmas. Like, opening up presents. Um, the next piece I have here, this is a Givenchy plate. Givenchy perfume. Um, I actually, um, already have the entire set of this, and I believe there are four plates. There's a blue one, a red one, a yellow one, and a green one. And they also had the yellow one at the store. Unfortunately, the yellow one was chipped, so I didn't get it. Uh, but this one is in great shape. Just a little dirty. Just needs to be washed, and it's going to be good to go. And it's so pretty. These plates are $1.90. This one was $1.99 each. Now I have five plates. Uh, maybe I'll get lucky and find some more, but... Um, like, it's crazy that this was even there, because when I found the, uh, the the first set, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. These plates are so beautiful. Of course, they have flowers on them, and the bright colors are just so, like, gorgeous, and so excited for this plate. So, um, yeah, this is the second plate I have of this, and I think I have three now of the S mugs from Anthropology. I have two of the Anthropology vases. And this next piece, this is a Pampered Chef, um, casserole, I guess. This is, I might, I'll cook brownies in here. Um, this guy was $4.99 and I believe I have four or maybe five of these, but these are just so awesome and they make perfect hostess gifts. If you're going to go to like a party or whatever and you want to bring something, you can make like brownies, you can make like whatever inside of here and just bring the whole thing and it'd be like, you can also keep the pan, like. There you go. And, uh, oh, these are also perfect for, like, if you want to, like, you bake your neighbor, like, your neighbors or whatever, um, like, brownies or cookies or whatever, you know? Bring it in here and then, like, it's a perfect, like, Christmas gift, Hanukkah, whatever. These are awesome. They literally are, like, the best baking things ever. And I cannot, like... I cannot ex like stress enough how awesome these are. Like I feel like I'm in an infomercial for Pepper Chef. But if you ever find them at the Goodwill, you guys gotta get. Especially if they're a good price. Especially if the glazed ones. Normally they just look like this, like the stone all the way, like like all around. The glazed ones are more expensive. So they're super cool, super awesome, and that. Rounds out today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and checking out the store, which is an amazing store. If you guys ever want to go, it's the Santa Ana. It's, um, I believe if you Google it, it's called the Goodwill Marketplace. And it's three stores. It actually has a... The Goodwill Marketplace um, part of it is actually a Goodwill outlet. You can actually purchase clothing and items by the pound there, which is super cool. Uh, I believe you can also... There's also an auction there. And you can buy, like, giant pallets full of stuff and you just like it's an auction uh so you can buy that, those there as well um then it's connected to a regular store which is huge it's like one of the largest goodwill stores that i've been to um other than the flagship store in los angeles so that store is massive and then it's also attached to the tech store it's which is a goodwill tech store that has 
TVs, computers, video games, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's attached. It's like a, a separate, whole another separate store, but they're all connected like like same building thing. And I actually think that the Orange County Goodwill headquarters is like is right there as well. So they're all right there. It's super cool. So if you're ever in the area in Orange County, Southern California. Check it out, it's so much fun, and I promise you guys are gonna find some really, really cool stuff. So, thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you guys had fun. If you guys did, please give the video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to check out today's vlog, it goes up at 2. The new 13 video goes up tomorrow at 7. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye!